Hello there. <laughs> was that creepy? Was that a bit creepy? If it was, I'm truly sorry. <laughs> I might try again. Hi there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephanie and I share my life and this channel with my two gorgeous rescue dog boys. One is a Staffordshire Bull Terry Cross and the other one is a deaf Wadi dog from the Middle East. And you can see it already in the bag. I placed it here uh, because I got a, I think, fairly exciting update. Um, so I um, signed up to become a dog trainer. Right, great. So one thing is amazing um, with having a white dog and mainly wearing black clothes is you have white hair all over you. Great. Right, so where was I? Um, yes, so I um, signed up to be a dog trainer and I have um, signed up with Absolute Dogs for their Pro Dog Trainer course and their Geek course. Um, so for me, I have worked with them before and the reason I chose them is I first got in touch so if you're wondering why I'm sitting here like this it's like <laughs> here's my plate <laughs> so if you don't mind it's just very comfy for me um yeah so I signed up with them so I first came across their um, training methodology for the sexier than a squirrel squirrel sorry this is by the way a really difficult word to say for everyone who's not like native in english it's like squirrel you know like i, I blend in the picture so you know what i'm talking about um but it's basically sexier than a squirrel challenge where the idea is you play games with your dog it's, everything is game based the idea is you play games that make you sexier than any distraction so for some dogs that might be a squirrel because squirrels are like damn sexy to dogs uh, with like their bushy tail and running around and being fast and you know unpredictable um however it could be anything so it could also be like being sexier than other dogs um, the main man whatever your dog thinks is like sexy as hell so this is how i came across them and i must say though that um, i haven't really done it like properly for like two years or like a year and a half i think at first um you know got this course on a discount and i like the idea of it so most of the games they played were about um getting your dog's attention bonding with your dog um one of the exercises is for example middle where you have your dog's like attention and be you know be between your legs and um be there like focus on you and i must say i um never like i started it but i never really got through the whole program because um well, it didn't really give me that much back then because Rem and I were working um, game-based, so I didn't really know that I was doing like a lot of these things like right. Um, but yeah, we did it intuitively because this was basically how Rem wanted to be trained and that was the way that was working for us. And so most of the exercises they do, he already knew how to do. So he could already do like a walking aids, um, you know, between legs. He can do catch, etc. So I restarted this um when i got chalky or before i got chalky because i was like okay with this dog i want to make sure it's um like it's like it's approach where um basically i wanted to <laughs> i think the main reason to be honest like totally honest is i think i just wanted to be prepared and feel i have prepared you know what i mean like i did a video of, like how i prepared to be like a first time deaf owner but i think for me it was just like something i was like oh my god he's like really young he's a puppy he's um deaf so how do i prepare you know i was just like what if the dog doesn't like me and you know like what well, he does he's my absolute barker dog he's always next to me um but you know there's like the irrational thoughts that go through your head i don't know if they're always irrational but um so yeah i started doing this again sorry just got a bit off track there so i restarted doing this and then again i think it's like i think 25 or 30 days i think the original one was 25 days and then it went up to 30 days um, and I think I got in until like day 13 or 16 and I stopped and I found it for me it was like a bit too high energy and for me there was like um, I was missing like the why are we doing this you know like the the background of 
why are we playing these games like what is the point how do they all tie together so i think this was missing for me back then and um like a few weeks ago i started just came across facebook ads and i mean i was aware of them and uh, followed a bit of their things but you know not really um, but I was checking for dog trainer programs um, online for quite a few months to be fair so I was checking in with like universities um, I wanted to do like many um, behavioral calls like dog behavior like canine behavior um, but also dog training I did not want to do um, you know it's like all about dominance and um, I was more into like positive reinforcement but also then I don't know, I found it quite difficult because there's like all oh, these labels and I, it was just all a bit like, do this, do that. And we like, it feels a bit like a war between like um, the different um, base camps, I guess. Um, but for me, it was totally clear, like I would not want to work with fours. Um, so, you know, I just looked around and... Um, also, it's like not necessarily like a regulated market, so I found it, yeah, it's quite difficult to find something where I'd be like, okay, this is what you get, this is what you can do with this afterwards. And the university, if you do like a bachelor's degree, it's like three years on, um, doing my PhD aside, having a master's degree acquired. Um, so I've already done like my kind of like my academic kind of career, well, not career, but like my academic kind of like bits. And Bob said, I was like, want to do something more hands-on, if that makes sense. Um, I did an edX course, but it was like, not, everything of this was not really what I wanted, what I was looking for. And then I came across another of their challenges from Absolute Dogs. And it was about um, like dog business, like working with dogs, something like two week challenge. And this is where they got a bit more into um, like, you know, the dog training kind of side, the geeky side of things. So the behavior side of things where they basically explained why do games work why does game-based training work um why do we play games which games do we play for what so it kind of like got a bit into this and um, then the opportunity came up to do the product trainer course for them i got it in the midst by the way not really like uh, many advertising it just makes the hiding bits you can see um like what is on like behind it i'm just hiding bits and bobs <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I signed up to their um, pro dog trainer course and their geek course. So it's like 10 weeks um, learning like dog training stuff. So you learn how to um, train dogs, <laughs> but also obviously as a dog trainer, you're not just working with dogs. You're also working with the owners. So you basically help the owners to work with their dogs, because I feel like whenever you're a dog owner or you have a dog, you are a dog trainer kind of like too because you have to train your own dog like it doesn't mean like you're a professional dog trainer who trains other dogs but you know you do the work with your own dog so you have one week where you learn how to train dogs and then the other week you have um it's always interchanging you have, of course it's about how to basically work with the humans so um how to run classes how to build your classes how to create lesson plans etc um i'm a i mean i guess you don't really know anything about my professional life it's just like my dog mom channel but i have another youtube channel for like my business side and um i have been a leadership development consultant for the last couple of years um i'm actually a certified trainer um so business trainer for people so i know quite a bit about instructional design uh, training needs analysis etc um so yeah i have done all this i got an mc in global leadership where instructional design etc part of my postgraduate master's degree um, however I've done also a, um, a separate training a certification and I have been training people um, online virtual classroom training I'm a public speaker since a few years so um, yeah I think I, I know like the people side so this is um, anyways what I was doing so it kind of like I think made sense for me to do what I was really passionate about like dogs and combine it with you know the other bit um, so yeah, I um, signed up for this like 10 weeks and then a 10 week geek program where we learn because I'm a bit of a geek like I mean I love geeking into things that I think are interesting. Um, so <laughs> uh, obviously I did sign up for this too. So this is like where we learn more about the behavioral side like why is this like that and you know get like more background information which I feel like is important for me because um, 
I mean, I know that no one can really know everything. However, I want to be the best dog mom I can be, but also uh, potentially be the be really de- not just a decent, but a really good dog trainer. So, um, yes, and then they actually um, threw in something in the mix uh, where you learn how to build like your own dog um, training business. So, I mean, we'll see where all of this takes me. I, I in fact, have been running um, a business since six years now. So, I mean, I've worked in corporate um, before for 10 years and then have been running my business for six years. So, um, yeah, I mean, this was not like the main reason that I signed up to. And I don't know if I want to be self-employed or so, uh, you know, this is all like in the stars right now. Um, But yeah, I signed up for them. And after I started this and after I kind of like understood why are we, first of all, why do games work? I mean, I knew it worked for Rambo and me. I talk about this a bit in the video, um, why <laughs> Stafford Terriers are amazing and what I, um, why I love them. I link it up in the description box below. However, like this is now kind of like mo- a more solid foundation, uh, why they work and also what do you do if you have like certain behavioral struggles, so what kind of like concepts do you get in- or need to get in place, how do you, um, you know, go about this how do you help people how do you help dogs to have um, better lives with like the people they live with um, but also obviously how to get the people who live with their dogs um, to have a st- more stress-free life because I mean um, having had rescue dogs um, all my life but also having like now two of my own with like <laughs> some issues like Chucky is highly anxious like she's terrified of people so um, I know that this can be um, difficult sometimes and stressful. So yeah, I just want to um, help people to have better lives with their dogs, have more fun together and build better relationships and just have a, you know the great time, have the companion they want. And one of the philosophies behind it is that um, we kind of like can reshape their, the dog's brain. And I know this sounds odd. Um, I thought the same, I was like, what? But, you know, it's about helping the dog to make better choices, to make choices that we would classify as correct choices in order to find a way how we can live together, like dog and person. And, um, yeah, so I'm, like, really excited it started already. Um, I have, like, in this... Yeah, this time in this folder I have already all my notes and um but what I don't really love about this is like a load of things are pink. Um, <laughs> not that this would matter at all, it would be any what important, but um yeah, I like it. Uh, so you get like a community and everything. So yeah, this is um what I'm currently doing and I um really enjoying it. Also allowing myself and I think giving myself permission to um do this like you know sometimes if especially like me you come from like proper business background you'd be like uh this is like you know corporate career this is what you need to do and this is what is classified as successful and what is expected and giving you permission to follow like a bit of your passion I think sometimes it's um scary (laughs) um but it's also so nice it's to me um starting this journey is very different to starting my business journey first of all i never really wanted to be like an entrepreneur i never really wanted to start a business in the first place um i'm talking about my other business now but having done this like for years now having coached like um but as a pro bono i did uh, mentor quite a lot of entrepreneurial students on different business schools in london um but yeah having done all this and having learned so much in six years it still felt like a lot of times like hard work whereas like doing this now is i just love it like you know i walked the walk already like i taught my dog um or both of my dogs um already quite deal of things and just building up on this and knowing i already have dogs with like great relationships to me and um 
yeah seeing how they grow mm. how they you know like i think it's just so rewarding to work with dogs and the thing is if you do like coaching or training often you get a group if you do for example in a business context you get a group and if you're an external trainer you then leave the group and you don't really see what happens afterwards but with dogs if you live with them and i mean this is obviously different if you like have like classes like you know who helps someone else with their dog um but if it's your own dogs like and as i said like i mainly do this also for my boys to you know be the best dog mom i can be um but yeah it's just so just so beautiful to see them grow to it's just so rewarding so yeah i totally love it and um go figure <laughs> i actually finished the sexier than a squirrel challenge too and now i am sexier than a squirrel <laughs> um <laughs> Not sure. Whatever. I didn't think I would ever say something like this on YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, because I really do love it. Because now, I, to me, it just makes so so much sense. I think if you're like the super practical person who just jumps in and does things and like is trusting of like that will work. Oh, it's like very like practical. Then um, this is probably like a good starting point for you um however for me i the geeky side needed a bit more background information so i i think for me it took a bit longer because i mean i figured it all out with like grammar what would work for us um so i think this was practical for me but i think in order to get really get hooked um on a training program was more i need a bit more um so yeah i get everything i need right now and um as i said it just started i'm very excited i'm a newbie and um i um will probably post on this channel how things are going uh, what i'm up to um, um i will probably also share some videos how i train my dogs um simply because i i don't know if you watched our videos at like the first few videos um i said that i started this channel also to document our journey how far we have come um because i missed this with rambo because people now be like um yeah so i can't really believe he was like that different and he was a very different dog he was a complete different dog when i got him when i adopted him than he is now and um with chocolate just yeah i think you know i just want to see how far we've come and also sometimes it's easier if you can watch things on replay and i mean if i film it anyways for myself for training purposes then you know why not share it with you uh, maybe inspire you to play some more games and um yeah i just really want to make youtube videos because i am um, also want to build a community that is um here where i maybe find other people who are just like me um on the journey becoming better dog parents dog moms dog dads whatever um you know who just look for people who are basically to find their tribe i think i leave it at that <laughs> so looking at the time i, I talk quite a lot my coffee is cold by now. That's it. I will see you next time.